Hey, a snack. Oh, these could be poison, girl. Never seen this kind of... I've never seen this kind of berry before. I hope they're not poisonous. Uh... Just one to be safe. Don't want to risk getting sick. Just one will be fine for now. Then if they're safe, I'll eat my fill. Doesn't taste too bad. The berries seem all right. Okay. Can we take more? Okay. You're right, there's plenty in the area. Uh, Dizzy. Because I'm hungry, or... I'll just take a short rest. Oh, oh no. Oh god, she's dead. Rest in peace. Oh! <laughs> Good stuff. United States Aviators back, the Holly Dolly US Aviator, and we are back with more trick, the Wandering Wolf trick, and we're just gonna get right back into it. I should probably talk. Oh, there's a whole bunch of bunnies. Oh, they're gonna be all angry and scared of me. Eek, don't touch me, I knew it. I just wanted to ask a question, haha, <laughs> oh well. Y you creep is going around scaring lone woman. Oh, I, I was about to just walk past her. You all saw me walk past her. I was like, let me talk to her. Your idea fun? I didn't mean to scare her. How is she supposed to act when a big wolf comes out of nowhere and singles her out when she's alone at night, Fair? I'm sorry, I didn't realize. You better be sorry. I'm watching you, wolf. Go back to wherever you came from. Oh god. This is so sad. Maybe I can ask you this question, actually? Then you can do whatever you want just because you're a wolf. E even I could take you on. If I... Uh, if you don't get out of here right now, I'm leaving you. Oh, it's more spotlights. Oh, is this a food stand? That's right, you look about as hungry as a wolf. We are a wolf. Uh, but you're not afraid of me too, are you? Afraid of a hungry little dog? Never. Your kind is good for business. Thank you. Oh, I can eat here then? Come on, darling, don't be shy. You sell crepes! <laughs> The very best. I'll make you one on the house, just to prove it. Wow, really? You're so nice. That's so nice. <clears throat> you don't mind a little chat while I whip this up for you, right? Not at all. Don't poison it. We don't see many wolves around here in Daikfuku. Where are you from, darling? Mount Sorbet. My pack moves around a lot. But we call our home Vanilla. <clears throat> Mount Sorbet, huh? My family used to live near there. We ran away- we ran a little farm a few years ago. Oh. My sister's the real farmer, though. She and her husband own the land. At the time, they moved somewhere safer once their baby came. Pretty odd for a pair of rabbits to have a single child, but that's my sister for you. Come to think of it, having only one partner is a bit odd, too. Oh my god. It's odd? I thought that's what was expected. Oh, it's definitely odd for rabbits. I've got two partners waiting at home. Honestly, I can't imagine how I would have handled my, all my children without them all these years. Wow. I've never expected, I never heard of something like that. Raising a bunch of kids sounds tough, so it definitely makes sense. <clears throat> makes sense when, uh, makes sense you find it odd though. Dogs that pass through here never tend to have more than a few siblings. Oh, I must sound like such a busybody. Always asking customers, uh, always asking customers things like that. I can't speak for anyone, but I sure do appreciate a stranger being so friendly to me. We ain't strangers, darling. Castella, that sounds so familiar. Why does that sound so familiar? I don't remember her name from a previous game. <clears throat> oh, I'm Trick. Nice to meet you. Well, now here's your crepe. Bon appetit. Wow, it really is delicious. Thank you so much. You're welcome, darling. I don't mind doing favors for someone who looks so worn out. Do I really look worn out? Well, sure. As a mother, I've got a good sense for it. You're pushing yourself too hard. Can't do much about it. The reason I'm traveling is to look for a friend. Oh, sounds important. It takes the fun out of traveling when you're fixed on your destination. <laughs> well, if you're out seeing the world, might as well stop to smell the metaphorical roses. Go easy on yourself, Trick. Uh, okay, thanks. Uh, now you get going. Uh, good luck and never- and good, I was gonna say good luck and never come back. And come back when you can. Auntie Castellas. 
Oh, there we go. It was the auntie that I was forgetting. So then, this is Mochi's aunt. Okay, so Mochi is her niece. Okay, there we go. I was like, that name has been in one of these games. I'm sorry, I feel kind of bad for not giving you anything in return. Now, now you gave me your company. That's plenty for a lonely old woman like me. Thought you said you had a big family. Well, sure, some holes just can't be filled no matter how many years go by. Glad I could keep you company then. Oh. <clears throat> I feel like we're gonna get ambushed, but oh no, six weeks later. Jeez Louise. This forest looked a lot smaller on the map. You have a map since when? I'm so hungry. Oh. Hey, a snack. Oh, these could be poison, girl. Never seen this kind of. I've never seen this kind of berry before. I hope they're not poisonous. Just one to be safe. Don't want to risk getting sick, just one will be fine for now. Then if they're safe, I'll eat my fill. Doesn't taste too bad. The berries seem alright. Okay. Can we take more? Okay. You're right, there's plenty in the area. Uh, Dizzy. Because I'm hungry, or... I'll just take a short rest. Oh, oh no. Oh god, she's dead. Rest in peace. Oh! <laughs> Oh, oh no! <laughs> they drugged me, man! They drugged their berries! The highest power smiles upon us. This is the first time a wolf has passed our gates. Prepare it at once. We must wait. What? Why? Can't we expedite tradition this time? It's been so long since we were able to feast. It ate the berries. They always do this, and always make us wait because of it. Despite the wait time, the berries do bring in more meals. It's a net gain, brother. The last one got away due to our impatience. The highest power is giving us another chance. We must display our gratitude. I concur, brother. Let us show courtesy to our guests before we feast. Oh my gosh. Huh. Where is this? It awakens. Eat this, you will recover. Food? No, don't trust anything that they're feeding you. Go! Splendid, you've recovered. We will be preparing a feast shortly. As such, we will. We simply cannot let you leave our village before then. And with that, welcome to Wormwood. Please take some time to relax. The, this, uh, the feast wouldn't be possible without you, after all. Um, bye, bye, but bye, oh, oh, oh no, oh, oh boy, okay, uh-huh, just relax, you'll be happy, I don't, oh no, I don't, no, no, look, our feast depends on travelers like you, have you not come along, no, had you not come along, we may have had another, oh god, <clears throat> you save all the good meals for your visitors, that sounds a little tough. Our temperance has not gone unrewarded. Tonight is an auspicious night. Please follow my brother into the dining preparation house. We cannot wait for our meal. Oh no. Hey. Would you follow me? Not, not now. Not now. I'll wait. Okay. Does anyone have any info? Or is anyone on my side? <coughs> you may call. We may call each other brother, but we aren't all related. Or male for that matter. I just felt like pointing it out. Thanks for the info, it's hard to tell since you're all wearing masks and raincoats. Please. These garbs are worn to please the highest power. So we aren't. We, we do often mistake who we're speaking to amongst the group. I'd imagine your laundry is tough to sort too. Oh, not at all. Our name tags are sewn into our collars. Oh. But I, I shouldn't be giving away the uh, our, our group's secrets. Oh boy. Your charisma will not sway us from what will be done. We're, oh god, it walked towards me. It's walked towards me again. The highest power, what's that, the sun? What? The highest power is the highest power. Where could you have gotten- Oh gosh, I hope I didn't offend you, I was just curious. Although you may never become as beloved as we are by the highest power, perhaps giving you inquisitive guest a brief overview would not hurt. The highest power is our great 
omnipotent leader, <clears throat> providing a shelter, plentiful rainfall, and most importantly, sending us magnificent meals on our way. It's nice that you have something like that looking after you. I can only rely on myself. Go to the dining hall, the, the dining preparation house, accept the highest powers will, and even you shall be blessed. Sounds like an honor. I don't trust any of this. I've, I missed this one. We might as well. <clears throat> Feel the rain's countless kisses indulge in these such worldly sensations. Revel in this bliss so fleeting. Sorry, rain makes me feel more cold than blissful. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, I'll go. Now then. This way, quickly. <gasps> Head east. You'll reach the rails. Follow them to the next town. <gasps> I'm getting kicked out, but everyone was so excited for the feast. Now do I have to miss it? Listen. <gasps> it's the mouse that we met before. It's easy to think things like wolves are ferocious, mice are harmless. But your species doesn't decide what you'll do to others. You understand that, don't you? You sound so serious. Sure, I understand. It's dangerous to stay here. You should... Go back to where you came from. I can't do that. There's someone I'm looking for. You won't find them here. You're set on this, huh? You must be a terrible... It must be a terrible feast you're keeping from me. Alright, I'll go. Please give everyone my thanks for the hospitality. It's not often you see people give someone like me a warm welcome. It was nice while it lasted. You're a really good person. I hope we'll meet again someday. Wow. <clears throat> That's wild. But once again, the story is all like, not concluding, but you're seeing all of the pieces. I knew I would find you here. <clears throat> you got me. I don't think he's coming back. Maybe waiting around all year was the wrong choice. He did more than wait around. Yeah, but you know what I meant, Treat. You've always been smiling since that time, but all... I'm, uh, so I, I, I went through, Nom Nom Nami has like this little webcomic series, and one of these things, uh, one of the, like, questions that they asked Treat was, what's your type? And then it was just like, someone who can smile through anything. And now I understand that that's Treat, because she has not stopped smiling this entire time. You're still so sad about it after all. Oh, were you worried? Hey, you don't have to worry about me, okay? My master wanted me to go out and be a real wolf, not just a pet. Whatever his reasons for leaving the way he did, I'm grateful to him. But you know, when someone you've known forever just disappears like that, it still kind of hurts. I guess that's why there's the saying, it was for the best. <clears throat> that's how I keep smiling. You're optimistic. Hey, it's fun to smile too. You should try it more often. Sorry. You don't have to apologize. What I'm trying to say is, if you can laugh even when you're feeling down, you'll be invincible. Are you trying it? I can't tell. It's ridiculous. Later is spring. Oh, hey! This must be ginseng. Uh, what an out of the way little town. I wonder what the people here are like. Okay, so, so, okay, um, there's salt and pepper, and there's Kai, but this is, is this before or after? Because it's, it, here. Hey, Wolfie, nice vest. Wow, thanks. Strangers don't come by here often. Ought to throw you all a welcome party if you're spinning, if you're, if and you're sticking around. As long as it isn't some mysterious feast. Uh, not a big eater. Or are you scared that us unscrupulous <laughs> country foxes will serve you up mystery meat? Oh, it's nothing like that. Welcome parties just make me nervous. I don't want to trouble you either. Who's this goody, goody two-shoes? They're getting on my nerves. Uh, okay, you. You're the reasonable one. Hello. There's nothing to do here. Oh, you can talk after all. 
Well, anyway, I'm sorry that you're bored. I think they're watching the clouds go by. Huh. Okay. Hello, guess not. Looks like no one's home. Knock, knock, nope. <clears throat> cough, cough. What? Hello, I'm from out of town. I'm trying to talk to as many people as I can everywhere I go. Uh, this door isn't locked. Uh, I should go. Well, sorry to bother you. I'll be on my way. Now I'm gonna burst the door open. Lady in town sounds scared. I don't want to bother her. Well, maybe I do. Well, I made a mistake. Well, we're not gonna bother her. I'll be honest, Wolfie, the whole party idea was just me looking for something to do. You guys do look pretty bored just standing around like this. You got us there. So what are you doing in a little town like this? I've been looking for someone, a friend. Oh, if it's another wolf. <laughs> we know one of them. So don't assume that all wolves are automatically friends. <clears throat> Could it be Treat? Kind of tall, light hair, barely talks? Yeah, that's the one. Oh my gosh. She's living in a little rabbit town called Frosten. Wow, really? For how long? Who knows? She was there before us. We started living there last winter. Yeah, except that town kind of majorly sucks now. We bailed on it just the other week. Okay, so we are, like, caught up in the storyline now. Or the timeline. Thanks for the info. I'll try going there. Just follow the tracks west. Okay, sweet. Pony up and skedaddle. Thank you. So we're just gonna go west. I know where Treat is now. She's living somewhere in this area. I'm finally here. Okay, so... Here's the dilly. We're gonna stop right now. And we're gonna save this last bit. We don't know how long it's gonna be. It might be like five minutes. But we're gonna save this last bit for probably the final episode because I'm sure there's gonna be a cliffhanger because I expect... I think there was... Uh, confirmation that there's going to be a part 5 <clears throat> but ladies and gentlemen take care your United States Aviator your Holly Jolly Aviator is taking off telling you to stay classy passengers and we'll see you all next time toodaloo flight crew